Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Luftoff. We are back with some latest space updates. We will talk about a worrying update where Starship orbital flight has chances of being delayed to 2022. So why was such a decision made? Who is behind it? And what did Elon Musk say as far as the matter is concerned? Before we start, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you will never miss anything from the world of space. Let's not waste a second and move on with the video. We all know that SpaceX has primarily slated their private Boca Chica facility for their Falcon 9, the Falcon Heavy tests and missions. Then eventually, the company shifted its focus for something bigger, i.e. Starship. But still, after a lot of developments, SpaceX Starship progress is facing delays. SpaceX has planned to launch the first ever orbital flight by late 2021, but it seems that the lengthy environmental assessment will make the flight slip back to 2022. First, let's take a look at what exactly the environmental assessment draft means for SpaceX. Set to be the largest and most powerful rocket in spacecraft history, as soon as it begins orbital launches, the process of acquiring permission to launch Starship and its super heavy booster out of the wetlands of South Texas coast was never going to be easy. The Boca Chica site SpaceX ultimately settled on for its first private launch facilities initially meant for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, but later dedicated to BFR. Now, the Starship is simultaneously surrounded by sensitive coastal habitats, populated by several threatened or endangered species, and situated mere miles from where crows fly from the city. Their temporary population is oscillating from a few thousand to tens of thousands. Reception and analysis of the draft and its timing have been mixed. On one hand, SpaceX's draft EA was completed with oversight from the FAA and help from USA Fish and Wildlife Service gives many reasons for optimism. In a sign, SpaceX is taking a pragmatic approach to the inevitable environmental review and launch license approval hurdles standing in front of the orbital South Texas Starship launches. SpaceX has pursued what is known as a Programmatic Environmental Assessment, PEA. Most importantly, that means that SpaceX's Starbase PEA, if approved, will be more like a foundation or stepping stone that should make it easier to start small and methodically expand the scope and nature of the company's plans for Boca Chica. What is more remarkable about the draft? The environmental assessment draft released by the Federal Aviation Administration suggests that SpaceX will be able to proceed with orbital Starship launches from Texas, but with many mitigations required. The release of the draft Programmatic Environmental Assessment by the FAA on September the 17th starts a public comment period that will run through October 18th, with two virtual public meetings scheduled for October the 6th and October the 7th. The FAA required the assessment before deciding whether to issue a launch license or experimental permit to SpaceX for orbital launches of its Starship slash Super Heavy vehicle. Previous low-altitude suborbital test flights by Starship used an earlier environmental assessment originally prepared when SpaceX planned to launch Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets from its Boca Chica, Texas site. That earlier review is not sufficient to account for environmental impacts from the far larger Starship and Super Heavy configuration. The report itself does not determine if the FAA should license Starship orbital launches, but instead assesses the environmental effects of launch activities, whether and how they can be mitigated. The report could lead the FAA to seek what is called more intensive environmental impact statements. However, the draft version of the report identifies few issues it deemed significant. Many of the factors included in the assessment, from air and water quality to noise and visual effects, can be mitigated through measures outlined in the report. For example, SpaceX would be required to make measures to minimize any release of hazardous materials and waste, as well as clean up any spills. One potential stumbling block is the potential effects on endangered species around Boca Chica. The report concluded that orbital launches from Boca Chica would adversely affect species listed under the critical habitat designated under the Federal Endangered Species Act. The FAA said it's working with the US Fish and Wildlife Service to determine those effects and that the environmental review process won't be completed until the agency offers its formal opinion. 
This environmental assessment, though, may only apply to initial Starship launches from Boca Chica. The assessment assumes up to 20 Starship suborbital test flights during its development phase, and up to 5 Starship slash Super Heavy orbital launches annually. SpaceX's projected demand for Starship is likely to far exceed that flight rate, which could require a reassessment of its environmental impacts. If the draft PEA is finalized and SpaceX further develops the program, the FAA would analyze the environmental impacts of proposed future activities in part by using information developed during the current process. The FAA said on a September 17th statement, this PEA has significantly fixed to a mere number of launches in a year. This reduces the number of yearly launches that will affect the growth of interplanetary transport in the future. According to a report, the lunar lander mission, which is already assigned by SpaceX, may face a good delay. Reports said that the Starship needs nearly 10 to 16 launches to transport the human lander system to the lunar surface. But this is much larger for the present assessment. According to SpaceX, they have shrunk their initial programmatic environmental assessment to easily get approval for launches from the regulatory agency. Reports say they will later develop their proposals for making up the delay. The company stated that this assessment was started in an earlier year. FAA's approval of this draft is a favorable environmental assessment and is in its first stage. It seems that SpaceX is on the way to receive a finding of no significant impact, FONSI or mitigated FONSI determination. Likely, Starship and Super Heavy, as well as Starbase, will more or less become ready for an orbital launch tests, much earlier than the FAA is ready to approve or license them. In a September 17th tweet, SpaceX chief executive Elon Musk called on the public to express its support for his company's Boca Chica plans. It is now open for public comment until October 18th. Please add your voice to the public comments. Support is greatly appreciated, he said. Humanity's future on the moon, Mars and beyond depends upon it. After mid-October and once the public comment period closes, the FAA will incorporate those comments and other work into a final version of the environmental assessment. The FAA will then make a record of decision about whether the proposal would have significant environmental impacts. Only when that is done would it complete the licensing process for Starship and Super Heavy orbital launches. Whether the agency can make out the best case FONSI within a couple of months or not is quite improbable that they could permit SpaceX to launch within 2021. Removal of environmental launch hurdles, especially official, will take time. Thus, providing even an experimental permit well before the end of the year is not viable, possibly pushing the orbital launch further to 2022. Now let us wait and see what will happen in the coming three months. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more interesting space videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button. You can also share the video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again.